Hey guys, it's Robin here. Welcome to my channel, Oracle Rising. So I wanted to have another conversation about that pesky shadow self, okay? This is a very important subject. Um, it, it's part of you that you need to push past in order to become the highest version of yourself, okay? So um, we've talked about the dark night of the soul before, and the dark night of the soul is really going deep and recognizing your shadow self coming to terms with shadow self and having them walk with you instead of in front of you, okay? So we do see many examples of shadow self, um, lack of integration in our society. And unfortunately, it seems to, <clears throat> it seems that a lot of uh, people that are in control of our media um, are being operated by their shadow self, not their divine love and light being, okay? so shadow self is always going to be with you okay it's it's part of you it's like your inner child is part of you it's like your higher self is part of you your shadow self is always going to be part of you and sometimes that it's stronger than other times i just have to move something hold on it's just in my way <laughs> so anyway um Dark night of the soul, it can happen multiple times in your life. It depends on what you're going through and how strong you can really be in your spirituality, um, being connected to your guides, um, trusting your angels, understanding that most of what we're seeing here is an illusion and being stronger than that, okay? So your shadow self personality is very very distinct it can try to take over at multiple times in your life so this is where you need to really recognize okay well that's my shadow self so i'm going to take affirmative action you know maybe start your meditations do them a little bit more communicating with your angels and asking them for help asking your higher self for help you know um, asking your light worker community, uh, your light warriors for help, okay? Just like, hey, this is happening to me again. I need to borrow your strength so that I can sort of put shadow self back into place. So I have a bit of a list here. So shadow self, one of the number one things that shadow self likes to do to control your divine light is to indulge in addictions okay so addictions just run the gamut you know um there is shopping there is drug and alcohol addiction you know there's just gambling there's everything and all of these things that are sort of they're presented to the collective as oh this is going to be fun for you okay so um it can really waste your life it can waste your money your body and your brain okay so everything in moderation guys um if you are if you notice that you've had an addiction in the past and it's starting to come up again for you a little bit too strong all you're thinking about is this negative pastime understand that your shadow self is coming up and trying to take control again okay and you don't want shadow self in charge of your life this will keep you stuck in the 3d matrix so if you need to go to a meeting if you need to do whatever you have to do to curb your addictions like you really have to watch for that and they can recur again shadow self will try to take the wheel multiple times in your life but you by recognizing the traits of your shadow self, you can say, hey, easy, you can go sit in the back seat where you belong. Okay, so people pleasing, just saying yes to everybody. Okay, yeah, I'm exhausted, but I'll go do that for you. Okay, um, saying things that you think other people would like to hear. You, everybody knows what people pleasing is, right? And it's it's doing something at a disadvantage to yourself where you would rather maybe take the day off instead of working another 10 hour shift, you know, or just doing favors for everybody. And I think the worst one of these things, the people pleasing things is not speaking your own truth, okay? How people react to your, your truth is their business, not yours, okay? So understand that people pleasing is 
it's putting you at a disadvantage be twice because you're doing something that you don't want to do and then you're disappointed in yourself and you might give yourself a really hard time about it so I find people pleasing is a very very dangerous thing to do okay so if you're not in the mood for something you can just say you're busy you don't have to give people an explanation I have plans sorry I can't work that day no I can't come out you know uh, I've got this going on even if you're just washing your hair you know it doesn't matter you have to choose the path that is right for you and not do things to seek people's approval of you or get them to like you, okay? Because those people don't matter, you know? And if your employer is pushing you to work beyond your stamina without giving you a break, it might be time to find a new job if you can, okay? Or have a conversation and say, look, I need a work-life balance or something. Be able to stick up for yourself being jealous of people okay so everybody has their own path jealousy is hideous what is it called the green-eyed monster okay um <clears throat> this is where other people's success might bother you other people's um income the way they look their zip code you know just being jealous of people it's a really really kind of a dirty thing you know because you're also denying yourself the ability to be in the position of somebody that has the, the success that you might perceive yourself to not have access to, okay? So if you notice yourself being really jealous, it is time to try to celebrate other people. And if it's just not possible for you, maybe just don't pay attention to them at all, okay? being nervous okay this is your shadow self your divine light is not nervous it is not scared it is very steady and very calm hold on for a second guys i know lots of people that are nervous people i used to be a really nervous person okay so there's a little bit of a difference be be between feeling a little bit of anxiety or a rush of energy before going to do something but being nervous on a constant basis and this can be the result of watching too much news or too many scary movies or listening to people that are fear mongers um, so you're just nervous at everything you know you're nervous about microwaves you're nervous about crossing the street you're nervous about the war in the other country you know and and this is this is a grip that the matrix holds over top of people. So if you're having nervousness, it's time to examine why. Um, what is it that you're putting into yourself, into your life that is making you nervous? Is it something coming from your parents? They were afraid of money. They were afraid of war. You know, that fear is, is indoctrinated into the collective. So nervousness is definitely a sign of your shadow self, okay? Um, <clears throat> having no confidence. Jeez, oh, this is a tough one. I know so many people that they're just not confident in the way they look. Um, you know, the appearance, their tax bracket, you know, just, and that's because there's so much judgment going on and being susceptible to that judgment, you know, recognizing your divine collective oneness your love and light being you know your exterior it doesn't matter it really doesn't okay and you're beautiful just the way you are it doesn't matter what it says on the scale um what you think you might look like in the mirror and there's a certain amount of body dysmorphia going on because of the standards of you want to look at like retail ads you want to look at the fashion industry um so i was ha having a conversation with somebody on twitter a little while ago and this is just a stunning girl you know she's really beautiful and she said that she thinks she's absolutely hideous so in that moment i recognize that that is a virtue of her shadow self and the impact of trying to attain an, a standard that's absolutely impossible okay and that can be an addiction too 
um, not having that confidence in yourself, in your ability. Um, that could be um, a side effect of imposter syndrome, which I've talked about on this channel before, where you feel like you just don't belong and everybody's going to find out that you're a fake. So that one's a really, really difficult one. Um, and not speaking up for yourself, okay? <sighs> Again, the fear of retribution. Um, and this is how the collective is kept calm or kept quiet, so this is all very important to resolve your shadow self personality and put them in check and calm them down and nurture your shadow self so that you're not part of the 3D collective so that you can rise above into 4 and 5D and beyond, okay? Because people that are truly comfortable with themselves, they accept that this is the body that... Um, they chose as a vehicle to live out this human life. Um, they understand that they have chosen every single thing about this lifetime. It, you've chosen the d degree of diffi difficulty. You've chosen your family. You've chosen your circumstances. You've chosen your karmic cycles and challenges. So once you become aware of all of that, you can hush up your shadow self. And when you see these signs coming in, you can say, okay, well, I know where that's coming from. That is my 3D matrix shadow self trying to rear up and control me. And where I am now as a spiritual warrior, you can say these things to yourself. I refuse to be subjected to any further you know, shackling of the 3D matrix through the manipulation of my shadow self to control my divine light, okay? So let me know what you think down below in the comments. Guys, I have definitely struggled with every single one of these. So let me know which one is your hardest thing to overcome. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. Love and light. Bye.